potential changes to property taxes in Pennsylvania. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Pennsylvania State Representative Nick Micarelli. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me, Jill. Uh, let's talk a little bit about House Bill 76. This would call for an increase in the personal income tax as well as the sales tax. How could that potentially offset our property taxes? Well, it, it's believed by the, the uh, proposer of the bill, Representative Cox, that uh, and and uh, the independent fiscal office, that if we were to increase the, the personal income tax to a little bit over 4% and increase the sales tax by a percentage, that we might see an elimination of property taxes as it relates to schools. And that's the idea behind House Bill 76, but you mentioned as it relates to schools, this would not eliminate all of our property taxes. That's correct. Your county and your municipal taxes would continue, uh, but we believe that it being the bulk of, of the property tax that people pay, which is the school tax, that this bill would, would be a good solution. And let's focus on uh, the idea of revenue generation. There has been concern that this proposal wouldn't generate enough revenue, the same or the same amount of revenue as the current model. Talk to us about those concerns. Yes, that was a major concern. Last year it was introduced as House Bill 1776, and the issue was that not everyone was convinced that the numbers were going to add up to actually be able to do what the bill said. Uh, we've gone back, Representative Cox has done a lot of due diligence, and uh, there's been studies done, uh, again, by the Independent Fiscal Office to show that these numbers would ultimately add up and would provide enough funding to uh, to. Re reduce the burden on on those paying the property taxes. And what about school funding itself? Would then funding come through the state level? Yes, it, it would uh, it would change it, um, from you know being a, a tax levied by the school district and the funding would be would come through the state. Now when we talk about this idea you say this could potentially benefit certain people who uh, particularly those who may have lived in their homes for a long time. How so? Well, there's a, a lot of people who are being taxed out of their homes by ever-increasing uh, property taxes. And, and it's not just school taxes. Obviously, uh, taxes on municipal levels are going up in a lot of places. County taxes are going up in some places. So it, it's not a, it, it won't fix all the problems of, of property taxes, but it will take away the biggest chunk of what people pay. What about, though, for younger workers, if they do have an increase in the property ta uh, the personal income tax, rather, and they are buying goods on a regular basis, could this negatively impact them with an increase in the sales tax and the PIT? Well, I think it would make everyone pay their fair share, whether uh, you own a home or you rent, whether you're working or a senior, you'll pay based upon the things that you buy and, and what you uh, and what you earn. Um, so as you as you said, you know the the burden might go up slightly on working people, but it, it would not be a major, uh, you know, major factor. I don't you think. had mentioned that this had been introduced in the past. Talk to us about where it stands now. Well, it uh, will be introduced very soon. Uh, Representative Cox plans to do that, and I think uh, finally the the impetus is there again. Uh, as you as you uh, talked about, there are people who cannot afford to live in their homes that they lived in for a long time because these taxes continue to go up and up. And uh, we just don't feel that that's uh, a fair, uh, a fair way to, to go about it, that no tax should have the power to leave someone homeless. And just a few seconds left, but this is moving forward in this legislative session. Is there momentum this time? I believe so. I believe there was momentum last time. It was strictly a, a numbers issue, and I think that we've got a lot of those kinks worked out. I think we're going to be able to, to get this push forward and, and actually see some action on it. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you, Jill. We've been talking with Pennsylvania State Representative Nick Micarelli. I'm Jill Horner for Comcast Newsmakers.